Hello and welcome back to the Dessert Tactic YouTube channel. In this week's episode, our letter that we are working with is the letter D, and the words are delirious and door, delirious door. So today, in this episode, when we are being extraordinarily creative thinkers, full of artist flavor, we are going to be drawing a delirious door. So grab something to draw with and something to color with, and let's make some art. Delirious door art, of course. This episode is brought to you by ArtasticKids.com. If you're a parent, guardian, homeschool family, or a classroom teacher looking for art lessons and resources, begin your journey by finding free art lessons, tips, advice, and more at ArtasticKids.com. All right, so we're gonna grab something to draw with, whatever you want, you do you, and we're gonna be doing a delirious door. So we're gonna start off with a line at the top, Two lines down. No, we're not just drawing a door today. We're more, we're going to be drawing a delirious door. And it's very confused. Okay, and we're going to make a rectangle out of that. You can add a door frame, and you can add whatever molding and trim you want to your door frame. Make sure you subscribe to the Mizertastic YouTube channel because we do things pretty differently here. Not your average drawing channel, but it's the strange and unusual drawing channel. Yes, it is. Check it out. Subscribe to the Mizertastic YouTube channel. Okay, hatching lines on your trim. Give it some shading. You can use lines of shade any day. Because that's what artists do. We just use the tools available to us. And this moment, I got this marker, but I can shade with it if I create lines and I place them together. It makes that paper look darker than the rest. All right, I'm gonna give my door a doorknob. And I'm gonna make it shiny by adding a little curving triangle on it. And my shade below it with some hatching lines because it's gonna, of course, cast a little shadow onto the door itself. Now this is a delirious door, so we're gonna draw some spirals for the eyes today in our delirious door, because that's what delirious doors are like. And then we're gonna draw a nice big curving arch line like that. And then below it, we're gonna draw a curving line on either side, bump it up, down, and connect. All right, on the inside of the mouth, we're gonna draw a lowercase letter M, and then color in the dark of your delirious doors. Mouth leading just the tongue nice and white. Curving lines around, curving lines around the eyes, and curving, I mean, some duh dash lines around the door itself. Now this door's casting a shadow, so we're gonna add some hatching lines, long ones sweeping off the page at the bottom here. These big hatching lines to cast a shadow. All right, let's make them cross hatching. Look at that. Cross hatching. Delirious door! And once you're done your delirious door, you can add any other details you would like to your delirious door, and then you can go ahead and color in your artwork with your choice of art making mediums and colors. And I challenge you to share your drawing on social media and tag me at Ms. Artastic on any platform, absolutely any platform. I am there, trust me. And then you can, um, I can see your artwork, and also I want you to challenge others to also create delirious doors because. That's how we get to see some cool things happen in this world. By working together and coming together as a community. That's how life is a lot more interesting. It's about being kind to others and being friends. Not about disagreeing or pushing people away. No matter what the adults of the world are saying. You do you and do what makes you happy. And do what you feel, what you think feels right.
And once you're done coloring in your delirious door, your delirious door artwork is done.